Sonia Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Our first contender from this match from Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have Ilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this. Um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have the comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I, wanna, uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Sydney, Rabia Mateo. Next up, Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. are about to go through another beautiful transformation. Based on their average scores and their 30-second speeches, swimsuit, and evening gown performances, the judges have now come up with the top five finalists. One of them will have the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of being Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Ladies, are you ready? For the list of our top five, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of Sisip Gores and Valayo Company, our official tabulators. Thank you very much. Amazing job. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from... Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender. And now let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay, <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You are okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? 
if I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. All right, now we call on our final. Only two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is...